When you're ready to start using the SMS service through TDO, you need to contact us to enable your account. Once that has been done, you would go to your administrative, edit doctor information menu, and enter your TDO for endo.com username, your SMS login, and your SMS password. You also need to make sure that the doctor is enabled for sending SMS messages and also have a mobile phone number. You can have one account that the whole office uses, or you can have different ones for each doctor. It makes no difference at all. Now, by default, only managers and full-level access users are allowed to send SMS messages. However, under your Edit Control table, you can specify to allow staff to send SMS messages as well. And you can also select to send SMS automatically. Now, what that means is in each patient's chart and referring doctors, there is a Send SMS checkbox. By default, that is going to be unchecked unless you manually check it that this person wishes to receive SMS messages. If you select this box in Edit Control Table, if you enter a mobile number, it will automatically check that box for you. However, you can always uncheck it manually. And you can change the setting at any time. Just to confirm, for a patient to be eligible to receive text messages, you must have a valid mobile number and the Send SMS box selected. For a referring doctor to be eligible to receive messages, you need a valid mobile number and the box selected. When you're ready to send messages, you would go to Front Desk Menu, TDO Text Message, Send TDO Text Message. Select the doctor whose account you wish to use. At the bottom, once it loads that doctor's credit information, you will see how many credits are still available to be used. I want to send multiple messages to patients with appointments in the next day. I can search and I come up with one person who has an appointment who is eligible for SMS messages. I actually know I have two patients with appointments tomorrow, but the other one does not have a valid mobile number and the SMS is not selected. Once you get the list of the patients to receive these messages, you would then enter your message on the left. Now there's predefined messages that use token fields. So this one would put dear patient first name, this is a reminder of your appointment, please call then your phone number for more information. And you can have this message say whatever you like. I'm going to add a comma there. And you can also manage your predefined messages by coming here. You can edit the messages, you can add new predefined, or you can simply come here and type the message you wish to send out. The predefined ones are really better to use when using batch messages so you can have it put in the individual patient or referring doctor's token information. Once you have everything filled out, I'm sending it just to one person, but if there was more on this list, you would just make sure you have all of the ones selected that you wish, and then you hit your send button and the messages will be sent. Now, the patients cannot reply to these messages, however, they can be sent to each patient individually. If you wish to send an individual message not based on a filter, you would select single recipient on the upper left, make sure you have the proper mobile number listed, and again, you can use a predefined message or type your own message in this box here. Now, it will always use the current patient's information when you select a single message. Same with referring doctor. If you select a single message and your predefined message uses tokens for the referring doctor, it will use the referring doctor of the current patient. If you ever wish to check your sent status, there is a button here to do that, and you can query different dates and see what messages were sent. If you are not in the send message form already, you can also view the status of messages by going to front desk menu, TDO text message, check sent TDO text messages. And this brings up the same screen where you can search messages and see what was sent. 
The current prices for messaging is six cents for U.S. members, fifteen cents for U.S. sending to a non-U.S. number, and fifteen cents for any international user sending any message. Please feel free to contact us when you're ready to get started and we can activate your account and help you send your first few messages.